how to get a woman attracted to you who wasn't attracted to you before. This is a big reason why I even have a channel in the first place because can you get a woman who when she saw you, when she met you, was not interested in you, can you get that same woman really attracted to you, really into you, want to date you, want to sleep with you, want to even like marry you, okay? Can you do those things? And I've seen a lot of people say that, you know, I know within five seconds of meeting a guy whether I'm going to like him or not. You know, I've heard a lot of people say once someone is attracted to you, they stay attracted to you. If they're not attracted to you, then they stay not attracted to you. I'm t as a dating coach, I have seen this with dozens of my clients and hundreds of people that I've coached. It is, in fact, possible to get someone who wasn't attracted to you attracted to you. Now, obviously, there are limits. You know, if you've been pursuing somebody for a while and they've still not been into you, you should probably put your focus on other people who more likely are going to be into you. But... A lot of times what happens is that when you meet somebody, you get an impression of them. You see a certain side of themselves, and then maybe they see another side of yourself, and they're like, huh, interesting, never saw that before. And their opinion of you changes. So the classic example of this, you know, I had one client who uh, was very shy, uh, wasn't very talkative, and then when they met, she, you know, the girl wasn't very interested in him, but she thought, oh, he's nice, he, he might be a cool friend, so, you know, they exchanged phone numbers. Fast forward a few months later, um, she sees him at an open mic. Okay, he's playing his instrument. He's singing. The crowd's loving it. Um, you know, he's getting emotional, and she saw all of this stuff, and the crowd loving it. And everyone's clapping. Everyone's amazing. She was like, "Huh, I never saw this side of him before." And then they started talking, and then they started dating after. Okay, because she had never seen him show like his his amazing creative side. You know, his confidence side. She had never seen those sides of himself because he had never shown them. All right? And so that's kind of what you have to do. If someone's not interested in you, you have to show the sides of yourself that are going to be the most attractive. Maybe it's like you hosting an event. Maybe it's you speaking in front of a stage. Maybe it's you playing a sport that you're really good at. If they see those sides of yourself that they hadn't seen before, that's when their heads kind of turn. That's when they start thinking about you in a different way. Now, a problem that a lot of guys have is when they're in the friend zone, especially, they don't show their best side. They show the side that's following her, that's looking to her lead, that's always trying to appease her. And because of that, um, that's not their best side, that's not the most attractive side. So what you gotta do is you gotta show those sides of yourself. And look, there are some skills that you can learn. I myself, in my college life, there was plenty of women who did not go for me. But once I got older, once I started being more confident, once I learned to speak better, once I learned to have game, <laughs> those same women that I met later ended up being really, really into me. When at first, they wouldn't have batted an eye, they wouldn't have looked twice, they wouldn't have even talked to me at a party. Now they're coming to me, now they're really liking me, now they want to date with me, sleep with me, all of those things. Okay, It happened a while later, but it took time for me to learn those things. And it took time for me to show the best sides of myself as well, too. You, know, you see this commonly happen. So I've had this happen with numerous clients. I've had this happen in my own life. Now, there is a caveat. There is something that you guys should be reminded of, and that's that, yes, in, in the example that I gave, when he's performing on stage, when there's a lot of people like looking at him and he's in his most attractive light, women are going to be interested in you. Some women that were ignoring your text messages, that were ghosting you before, are going to start hitting you up, are going to start like flirting with you, and it's going to feel good. And you're going to be tempted to want to go for those women now. Okay? I would strongly encourage you to play it cool. Wait for a little more signs that they're interested in you. And yeah, sure, if you just want to hook up with them, then there's a good chance that you might. But if you want to date these women or get into a relationship with them, I would highly recommend that you wait for some more consistent signs of interest. Because typically what happens is that the women that weren't attracted to you at first, they see that one thing, they see other people into you, maybe they'll flirt with you, maybe they'll hook up with you, but then they'll go back to the way they were before. This doesn't always happen, but if they see consistent signs of attraction in you, and they show consistent signs of attraction back, then that becomes someone that you should see because sometimes there's a lot of women out there that are just very fickle that are just like you know one time they're you know one day they're into a guy the next they're you know going after somebody else or uh, they're distracted and they've forgotten about them these women do especially if they're young um, this tends to happen a lot so 
What should you do if a woman is not attracted to you? Well, figure out ways that you can show the best sides of yourself, you know, learn game, learn how to talk, learn how to better yourself, and that way when you meet them again, you can make, uh, you can't get a first, a second chance at a first impression, but you can make a better second impression. And I find a lot of the people that say, oh no, I would never be into that person, they end up changing their mind if they see that person in a new light. So figure out what you're good at. Figure out the sides of yourself that make yourself more attractive. Watch my channel to figure out ways that you can make yourself into a more attractive guy and start doing those things. Learn how to market yourself better. And if you're caught in the friend zone, the longer you stay trying to appease her, you're not showing your best sides of yourself. You should start showing the sides of yourself that are independent from her, that you only need you for. And on top of that, you can, you know, be the guy towards other people besides her. Because usually what happens is women need to see you like, uh, um, not impressing, but, uh, being a man around other people besides her. Uh, and that kind of information is something that really, I think, lends to the attraction process. So cool. Well, this is something I talk about with uh, on my channel. And if you want to get more access to my content, you can check a look at my mailing list down below. There's a link to it. I have free trainings. I usually send out, you know, uh, good pieces of advice every single day. So uh, take a look at that. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.